Hello everyone, welcome back to the Georgia Bassmasters channel. My dad's back here looking for some rocks. He's gonna paint today. But today's lure of choice is the good old Alabama rig. Hopefully it's not too windy for you guys. But out here using the Alabama rig this morning, it did really good. I even caught two fish at a time on it. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the like button as well, guys. It really helps reach more folks. And uh, if you have never fished an Alabama rig, Apparently they're a lot better in the fall and the spring, but hey, it is midsummer here. And I'm throwing Alabama rig on points and drop offs and uh, ledges, and it was doing really good. So let's go ahead and get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you guys at the end. Well, when I, I, last weekend they didn't hit like you're saying until the sun come out. That's why I was so surprised when I got on this spot, and then all of a sudden they were just coming up everywhere, from here all the way to the side of that point right there. They was busting. Got one on Alabama rig. Oh, he got off. <laughs> Man. Well, one fish. He was okay. Whenever they start really coming up on them schools. I just know this thing ought to be deadly. I just need to catch two five or six pounders at a time. Is that too much to ask for? There you go. Drill a little letting mine sink. Got a couple pounds of it. A couple pounds of hydrilla. I was gonna let it sink, drill a little bit deeper. Mmm, old onion grass smells so good. Ugh. So stinky. I think I got two of them or something. I don't know. I got two bass. <laughs> yes. Hey, in that bowl part, you need your plier. No. I just need them to calm down. Y'all sitting there thinking, I was like, it feels like two of them. Because they started swimming against each other. When it first jumped, I think you only had one. I, I only had one, and then the second one bit it. Yeah, well, that, that sun's behind the clouds right now. As soon as the clouds move. Oh, yeah, it was... It was uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But they was really out here on this left side of this point hard when we were out here last weekend. It was good. Alabama rig strikes again. Not a bad one. Put him in the live well. Nah, no, it, ain't, it ain't gonna eat them. I ain't worried about that. I will if, if it starts. I mean, you got that bubbler in there. I, and all that juice or whatever. Yeah. Just saw this fish coming up here out here behind us. Alabama rig about to roll through here. That was like the fourth fish I've got on a rig today. So, 
I don't know what them people out there fishing out there in the middle. Dead middle. They out there in the middle of the, the buoys and everything. They trying to find the deepest water in the lake, 40 foot right there, spooning it or something. You know, I've seen quite a few fish come up on that side of the island. I just think it might just be too cloudy. <laughs> Lost them out for them shad to be running. That thing hit like a ton of bricks. I don't know, man. I think I might have a new respect for the Alabama rig. I mean, people claim these things are deadly. Might have to start believing them. I had a hit before I got that one. I was letting it sink and I felt it hit it on the way down. Oh, I got off. Oh, it got off because my uh, it bent my thing out. Check that out. That sucks. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Like I said, if you haven't added an Alabama rig into your tackle box, go ahead and do that. It really works. The water here was 86 degrees. And as you can tell, it's crystal clear. You can see all the way to the bottom. So slow rolling that Alabama rig in about 10 foot of water really worked. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.